Hi, welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have added the delete link and on click of the delete link, we are displaying the confirmation dialog box. So in this video, we are going to attach the URL to the href attribute and also we are passing the employee ID to the controller so that we can take the employee ID and we can do the database operation like delete operation in the DAO. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll open the Eclipse ID and first of all inside the for each loop I'm going to use a GSTL tag library to create the URL. So I'm going to use the GSTL URL tag. So in order to access the GSTL tag library. So if you remember up above we have taken a reference to the GSTL tag library and the prefix I have given it as C. So using a C colon we can access the GSTL tag library tags. So we are interested in the URL tag. So if you scroll down, you can see C colon URL. And to this URL tag, we are going to pass two attributes. The one is variable name, which is var and the value, which is nothing but the URL. So let's add those two attributes var, which is nothing but a variable name. I'm going to call delete link. You can give any name you want. and the value which is nothing but the request mapping URL. So I'm going to call this delete employee. So inside this, uh, first of all, to this delete employee URL or this request mapping, we need to pass the employee ID. So to this URL, we are going to pass the employee ID. For that, we are going to use a one more GSTL tag, which is param, which is nothing but a parameter. To this parameter tag, we are going to pass two attributes. One is name and the value. The name, you can give any name you want. I'm going to call this employee ID. And the value, which is nothing but the employee ID. So if you remember uh, inside this for each loop, we are accessing the employee list. And on each loop, we are storing the employee object in this variable, which is nothing but a E. So just like how we are accessing the full name, email, gender, hobbies, we can also access the employee ID. So inside the value, we are going to access the employee ID using a EL expressions. E dot ID, this will give us the employee ID. And the employee ID, uh, we are storing it in the employee ID, or you can say this is nothing but a employee ID and this delete link, which is nothing but a variable name, uh, which is hold the request mapping URL value. Okay, so now instead of this hash, we are going to use this delete link using the EL expressions. Let me copy this instead of typing. So now this delete link, which is nothing but this slash delete employee and to this slash delete employee we are passing the employee id so now let's save this and in the employee controller let me create a white space i'm going to create a handler method public the return type is a string i'm going to call this delete employee I'm going to attach a request mapping. Let me copy this. So I'll change the URL. I'll go to the list employees and I'm going to copy this delete employee and I'll paste it. Don't type it, just copy and paste it because you might miss the characters or it becomes a typo error, then you will get into an issue. So just copy it and paste it. Now, we need to anyhow in the least employees.jsp for this URL, we are passing the parameter accessing it here using at request param. So and we need to provide the name which we have given in the param tag. So this is the name that we should provide. 
and I'm gonna call this employee ID so inside this I'm just print the employee ID just for the testing and we are redirecting back to the list employees.jsp so let's copy this paste it. so let's save this and this is actually employee ID so let's save this I'm going to run the application all right the application is opened in a new tab so I'm going to close the previous tab and first of all I'm going to clear the console because I want to see the message so let's clear the console and I'm going to delete the the second record which is XYZ so before that uh, let's see the employee ID for this XYZ record so if you go to the database for the XYZ the employee ID is 2 so we should expect the 2 in the console let's click on this and it will ask for the confirmation let's click OK alright we redirect, redirect it back to the list employees.jsp so let's go to the console and yes it is printing the value or the employee ID which is 2 okay so let's print one more and I'm going to clear this and I'm going to click the last one uh, which is the employee name is ABC and if you go to the database the ABC employee ID is 3 and we should expect the 3 in the controller It is redirected back to the least employees.jsp and uh, you should expect the ID 3 in the controller. So now we are getting the employee ID in the controller. So in the next video, we are going to pass this employee ID to the DAO and we are going to del delete the employee record. So that is coming up in the next video. I will see you in the next video.